Hi, sweet friends. Oh, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Carla and today's video we're going to be cleaning, organizing, and decluttering. So tons of cleaning motivation. I have a list on my phone. Let me take a quick peek. I was working on it last night and I kind of have a list of what I want to get done today. So I want to organize underneath the sinks, put some baskets away of clothes that I've been Sitting there for a little while and just organize and declutter the upstairs closet now I've done this already once you guys should check out that video but now we're gonna declutter again because things just keep getting jumbled and mumbled and that's okay that's just part of like decluttering and organizing but I want to make it like cohesive and a little bit more functional now that we've been here for a little while I know like how I want things so I'm going to be like readjusting and readjusting the shelves and just organizing a little better to what I feel is best for our family so let's hope I can get this stuff done the kids are in virtual school there are on a little break right now so that's why I'm able to do this but Abigail is going to be with me and I'm gonna really try to tackle this because it needs to be done and it's been on my to-do list for quite some time and you'll see the messes that I'm talking about so let's go ahead and tackle this decluttering organizing and cleaning video And we are just starting off by putting this load of laundry away. It kind of sat here forever. So it was time to just tackle it and get it done. And while I was putting the clothes away, I was also decluttering some of Abby's clothes because they were too small. I swear I'm doing this every single time. I'm putting her clothes away. I declutter and get rid of all of the items that don't fit her. But I also do hold on to some that I'm just not ready to let go. But sometimes I'm like, this just does not fit her anymore. And then I'm also placing all of the stuff that I had decluttered from the Christmas and I had left up here. So I went ahead and put that in bags so I can donate and get rid of it out of my home. So we are going to try to sell this futon. So I'm going to get everything off. So be on the lookout for a guest bedroom declutter. So I have been talking about Verizon in the last couple of months and I just wanted to show my face this time since I've been doing voiceovers, but I just wanted to talk about their innovation to technology. You guys, we use Verizon and technology literally every second of our day, every minute, all the time, whether it's TV, video calls, and phone calls, FaceTime, just internet. It really does connect us with so many people. It unites us with our teachers, with them teaching our kids, especially when we can get faster speeds with 5g so less lag video calls are going from minutes to seconds to loading so it's been really really helpful just really really neat what they have been doing for us and what they do for the military community they have tons of discounts on their website you can check out the link in my description you can check out their discounts and offers and what they are doing for innovation technology with their faster speeds with 5g and less lag that way you can load all the things that you want want quickly and faster so if you need a reliable connection make sure to check out the link in my description like I said it and a thank you so much to Verizon for sponsoring today's video I am so grateful for them and how they have united the military community and really feel honored to just share all of the amazing things Verizon is doing for military members and their families all right so we are in the boys bathroom and I'm gonna work under this sink obviously it needs some organization 
So we're gonna tackle this. And I bought a bunch of bins from the Dollar Tree that I've had and I've been collecting for a little while for all of this organization. And I will be using this little organizer that I got from Amazon. But I actually saw Kaylin Cash. She bought these at Target as well, like super recently in her video from today. I just happened to watch that part. And yeah, like they're at Target and Amazon as well. Hey, hey, hi, Bimby. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I really do like this organizer and I would completely recommend it. The only downside of it is that the bottom drawer, it doesn't, the height is not very tall. So shorter items do have to go on the bottom drawer, but it definitely works for us. And I'm thinking I may even get it for underneath the kitchen sink and then the master bathroom as well. It's really got great organization and you can use the vertical space and underneath the sinks so it works even better. And right away with the first project, I was so excited to actually declutter some items. I had a lot of bins that do not match, but I was able to save tons of money by using the Dollar Tree bins because they're just $1. And you will see that I save a ton of money in the major closet organization that I will share here in a little bit. And you'll see how much I spent on that as well. And while I have your attention, I would love if you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not 
not already and make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really does help just the youtube algorithm and pushing my video out any comments that you guys leave and then however much you watch i do appreciate it it all just really helps with my videos and my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell that way you're notified when i upload a new video i am not setting a day schedule right now i'm just trying to do what works for me but i will have a couple videos out every week so just be on the lookout and have that bell notification turned on okay so as you guys see it is just a disaster <laughs> so i'm going to take everything out organize it put it all in the same type of bin ish because as you see I have tons of different bins and that's okay I made it work but I did find the Dollar Tree items which I'm so excited to be using here that way everything's nice and pretty which I did mention in my last video it's okay if you're mismatching just work with what you got and then whenever you have the money or the time get all of those pretty matching bins let's get this closet a before and after transformation. I feel like this is going to be huge. So in order to not get too overwhelmed with all of the stuff, because with my last declutter and organization, I took everything out of this closet and it was really really overwhelming so this time i decided to tackle one shelf at a time since i kind of had it organized already like categorized i should say not really organized but i knew where i wanted items to go and i knew how i wanted to organize them into the dollar tree bins so i took it shelf by shelf so you will see me declutter and organize one shelf at a time and then place it back but that way i didn't have everything on this little floor hallway area it's not like a massive area i could work with so i just did that and it really made such a huge difference i was able to like take a break when i needed to come back and i was just more like ready to tackle it and just like more excited to get to it and i would totally say that this is kind of conmari inspired i would not say it's conmari style because that would mean i would have to take every single thing out which i do <laughs> but i just do it in shelves in those categories so you just have to do what works for you and i have just i think i heard this phrase conmari inspired by megan on loving life as megan if i'm thinking correct i'm pretty sure that's where i heard it and it just made complete sense because i really do get too overwhelmed when i take every single thing out so this really worked for me and i just want to share it with you it might work for you if you are decluttering and organizing an area in your home
We've had this organizer for quite some time. I don't even know when we got it, but we've had it for a long time. And we've always had band-aids in here. And I moved it to a lower shelf. That way the kids could also get to it when they needed some band-aids. But I completely recommend a shelf like this for all of those little items. Like I have tape in here and then also the thermometers and band-aids and just nail polish. So all of those little small items fit perfectly in this type of container. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said See it in your mind Trust that Have what it takes inside Cause you can make it And I just wanted to show you guys, this is with just doing like one shelf at a time, the mess it creates and I didn't even take everything down all at once. So just to give you an idea, it gets really messy, but the end result is definitely worth it. So this shelf I dedicated to have like a stockpile of items, all of our extra lotions and body soaps and toilet paper, like all those items. I decided to put this here. That way we can reach for it really easily and we can see everything that we have. And finally, I was placing all of the items I decluttered and all of the trash. Also, I got a lot of trash out of this closet and just put it into trash bags. That way I can donate or place in the trash can. And you guys, I did three bagfuls. So that just tells you that I have decluttered and organized so much. I was really happy with this outcome. No, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell 
All right, and to label everything, the last step before showing you the final review is I'm using this chalk writer. It is all from the Dollar Tree, and I got these little chalkboard tags, and I'll be able to clip them onto the white bins. And then I'm going to use my brother P-Touch to label the little drawer white plastic thing. Not a sound Sneaking out through your window Into the night Where we were meant to be Skipping town Searching for no This is what we waited for. No looking back. We started something I can never let go. I'm keeping you close to me. We don't need no sleep. And I know we will be alright. If only for tonight. If only for tonight. Under the sky. Right, and I do want to get like a shelf I think because there's just a lot of wasted space and I feel like we can do something like that so I'm gonna be on the lookout for something to kind of be super long and something that would work for that so we can use up all of that vertical space but let's show you everything now no time to So I didn't get labels for these because I can clearly see like what's in here. I don't need like a little, like I do not know what's in here. So this is really helpful, but for here I can clearly see everything and it's perfect for me for all of my items. And I just love that I went from having a complete disaster in this closet and also just underneath the sink, it was just a complete disaster to cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. And you guys, the after transformation is really awesome and I can't wait for you guys to see it. And it was all because of the Dollar Tree bins and just having some time set aside to declutter and organize this space. And all of this transformation, you guys, was $13 worth. Like, that is crazy to me. That's including the tags and the marker. So you can really spend very little money and get your home organized. Dollar Tree for the win, for sure. I am so happy with this. I feel like I can keep this up now. But make sure to stay tuned because we have tons more organization and decluttering sorry about the lighting but i just want to give you like a sneak peek into all of the organizing and decluttering so this is even more and you guys there is stuff under there some things you can't even see and then we have this lovely closet this is my husband's work item oh my word this closet needs a makeover <laughs> 
Whew, what a day i hope you guys enjoyed it and got some motivation out of it remember you don't need to spend tons of money on those really expensive bins i know they're beautiful and probably a little bit more sturdier but if you don't have the money it's okay just work with what you got do what you can and then one day maybe you'll be able to get it like maybe for me one day i'll be able to get it but for right now i just can't afford it but thank you so much for being here and i love you guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for being here with me today and i will see you on the next one bye so let's hope i can get this stuff so let's hope i can get this stuff done uh, it is so let's hope i can get this